Towards the end. I will try to win. Let's see if I can actually beat this game this time around, I guess. We've gotten to that point where, uh, there's not a whole lot more to do as conquer the rest of the guys in the game. Let's probably do this too, this quest up here. So, Unarin, Orvin, and Mafner. Look around here for these cities. So I basically searched the ruins here in uh, Orvin. Down here in Unarnin. And where is Math? Do I see a Math on the map somewhere? It's likely there's like a map that's like over here or something like that. Well, whatever. Basically, this fashion quest, it leads off to um, basically what you need to get the Temple of the Earth's Core. And if you can get that, you can start getting the Wonder Victory or the Victory Quest line. What I'm looking to do, I think, here. We're going to have all my Nicol drones pop out of these armies. You can go over in this direction, perhaps. I'm going to assign never rest this guy here, I guess, so that uh, we can start doing this uh, this quest line. I'll stick the um, the orb item, incubation orb item, on this guy here. There's the incubation orb, just basically reduces his life by a lot, but whatever. Stick some stuff on him, I guess. There you go. So that's one of the ruins searched. I get the chance to bring him down here to Unar and we'll basically look down here. Guess we'll put him over here for now. Move these guys over here for now. And there we go. I was putting these guys in here so there's an army with them just in case. All 
All right, so at this point, I think we're ready to start attacking people. Let's just declare war on the rest of the guys in the world. Literally, we're going to be at war with the entire world. He's infiltrated. We find the winter of Cold War unpleasant. We are eager to see how the heat of war suits us. You wish Dennis Cold War with a real war? We too prefer reality theory. Well, it's time to finish these guys off. Move you right here. We'll move these guys down there. We'll get the chance to move these guys too, but uh, whatever. Those guys are moved. I see a dragon here over here. There's the capital of the wild elves, or wild walkers. Now, this is going to be a hard fight down here because basically he's got all his units all, you know, stacked together in, like, cities and such. And apparently we're going to attack these guys right here. So, something I know about the Wild Walkers is that they are got, like, ranged units, kind of like the, um, the Vaulters do. But they're a little bit more range specific than, like, them. He ran away with those units. Move these guys down over here to attack the uh, guys. We'll basically show off what the Wild Walkers are like once, I guess, and then you'll get the base idea. Basically, they're ranged units, these guys. They have lots of range, too, like four range, so they fire from long, long distances. Wow, no damage at all. So, his units aren't upgraded very well, apparently. This is a fitting note, by the way. You really do want to keep upgrading your units as the game progresses, or else you're going to basically find that you're going to be, like, you know, outdone by, like, units, eventually. There's a nice big attack on the Dragon Hero there. There's another attack on a dragon hero. Down he goes. Nice, those guys got diseased. There goes those wild walkers. There goes those wild walkers. Another one bites the dust. There goes those ones. And then there goes those ones. Completely ate them all. 
You know, it's funny. It probably wouldn't matter if they retreated or not. They probably would have still died one hit with their, like, weak health. 187 health, those, uh, Wild Walker archers. So that's done. I'm gonna send these guys over there with them. And we'll move these guys in. Nice big siege in that one. Well, we'll declare war, or we already declared war on these guys, so we can move these guys in over here. You know, at some point, I want to probably steal vision from these guys so I can basically see where their, you know, guys are at. I'm not sure how, how far she is from getting, like, you know, another um, level here. Next five turns, apparently. Alright, next five turns, she's probably not going to be in there, because they'll probably take it before then. Let's see here. I'm gonna send these guys down this direction, I guess. Done. Kind of that army is the one with the stuff in it. Siege over here. We're gonna attack Onago with this army, I guess. Now it's gonna be interesting because it's basically got like, you know, this guy has an army over here in the middle of nowhere. Armies, armies everywhere! I have to remember, I still have, like, this ar Draken army up here in this direction, too. To deal with, at some point. Do that. The battle begins to wipe out the rest of the world. Expected this to happen at some point. And there. And there. The thing about it is probably a good idea to leave these guys in the city over here, the capital. Now I can focus on doing like stuff like building Nico drones and stuff. Built this here and it can do the Omax stuff. I 
Alright, battles. We don't need the assistance of these guys, so let's let these guys get crushed. So they're done. Uh, some more assassins are going to attack me over here. Whatever. Crushed. Crushed. Some wall walkers are apparently going to attack me over in, in where I suspect they would, but whatever. Crushed. Next turn, I'll be able to crush these guys. Before then, I can go down here. Siege. Go over here. I can go up here, I guess. Cool. Never rest got himself a level there. Movies got dies down over here. Okay, so that's all done. Let's go look at the guys I are seizing into the you know territory over here. I guess you guys can attack. Actually, you know what? We're going to do this. I'm going to basically separate the Balborn here. To attack the Ogres. There we go. I got my item. These guys are just going to attack here. So that's done. There's a cap apparently like the uh, Forgotten. I'll think deal with that at some point, but whatever. Done. And... Move these guys down this direction. And there we go. I crush everything. You get to go over here, I guess. Okay, these guys conquered a little bit, so they get to move down this direction, I guess. I could move toward the, uh, you know, up here, but whatever. Balance these armies so if they get one gets attacked, there's gonna be guys in both. I didn't actually siege this, did I? Siege. And 
cool you guys are over here. You get to run down to this city, I guess. And there we go. Basically, you got actual trade because basically I captured the city that she was in. Want to throw her into this army, I guess, to spy. And you can get some skills here. By the way, it's worth knowing that at this point I've got the market back. I basically, you know, once I killed the roving clans, they no longer were able to put the, you know, the market ban on me, so... Now I have access to this again. And slowly but surely I'll crush the rest of these guys. Oops, I started retaliation damage in a few places. And Ostrich got crashed, but whatever. Alright, let's see. I want to attack these guys. I'll move you right there. It's fine, they're actually in range of this guy when they attack from here. They're done. Seek that. We'll have these ca captured real quick. The launch, we're going to hit them over here now, these guys, so might as well. No escape. Done. Done. That's out of the way. It's just a slow process now, basically ripping apart the rest of my enemies, so I win. Eh, we're good with saying this guy over here, I guess. Guess we'll send this big army in this direction. Now it's worth knowing, if I actually attack these guys here, I'm going to be t attacking 13 US, not the 6, so... It makes sense for me to keep sieging these guys down slowly. Slowly but surely. Alright, you guys get to go... 
Huh, I forgot to move the guys in Rough Killer. Or wait, where's the Dragon Army that's in Rough Killer? They're gone, I guess. Saw this big stack of guys and decided, nope, not going to attack there. Oh, there they are. I can deal with that. One guy got illuminated because, you know, that stuff happens. Let's build a few units around here just in case I need them. I'm sending you guys out into the ocean to explore a little bit, I guess. Find out where just like these islands are. Food is back to normal. Auto. Oh, found this guy. And I'll send these guys in Skein, I guess, out in the you know, middle of over here. I hate when my mouse decides to screw up with me. Get that. That's done. Alright, my saves are almost managed for the moment. Kind of picked up some pearls somewhere. Let's see in this city here. There's nothing in here because they attacked me over here, so. You guys just to ransack this city. There we go. Another city is down. Now, if I look at this at this point, um, I'm probably getting really close to 8% of like the land mass, so I'm gonna win that way. Uh, let's see, I've got like 36 of 43, 47, 48. So I think I need to hit like 40, is it, of the um, the territory, so to speak, this is the win. There's like expansion victory, by the way, so once this gets to 100%, I'm gonna win that way. Go out here. I have no idea what that's all about, but okay. This must be something that the spies here can do. Get out in the ocean with that one. You guys get to go right there.
I guess it's to go out here. Uh, you guys are moving in this direction still. Oh, winter. I'll slow down things a little bit. And yeah, basically 38 to 49 regions. Again, close to the quest victory. But it shouldn't be too long before I win. I don't really need to level these guys up, but whatever, I will anyways. So in a way, this, this uh, series took longer to do a Necrophage series, because I'm basically conquering everyone and matching huge armies all the time. That's like what differentiates like, sort of like the passive, like, you know, pa faction in this game towards like the aggressive ones, like the Necrophage. Say like the Vaulters versus like the Necrophage. Crush them! Oh wow, some of these guys survived. Well, can't finish that office yet. There we go. That's done. You know, I'm just gonna attack these guys for the hell of it, just because I've already won. Massive attacks everywhere! Just cause I can. And unfortunately you can't get far enough over here in the winter time to, you know, see what's going on over here, but here's like the place over here that they have. Bunch of these cities no longer have stuff, but I don't really care. We're gonna say enter turn and win the game. Defuse and Nicophase of achieved victory expansion. And that's basically like, you know, when you conquer the world. One of the ways you conquer the world. There's my score screen. For the most part, I basically balance the rest of the faction until, you know, toward the end, my decided, you know, score is rocket right up. My military is, you know, for some reason, is like, uh, kind of weak until around this time, but whatever. Expansion, I was always doing pretty good against expansion. Population was sort of okay. Sort of balanced until, like, you know, mid-pack here. My research was actually kind of the worst of these guys, but because, like, you know, I basically got so big, it, you know, ballooned out. Food got better as one time went on. Industry. This guy is usually the best guy to the Wild Walker, but, you know, I crushed him in the end, so it doesn't matter. Dust. Uh, purple was basically the best at dust, apparently. I would have thought it'd be, like, the Roving, um, no, Roving Clans here, but whatever. Science. Science is science. Influence. Influence is influence. Empire approval went like all over the place. Diplomacy. These guys were the best at it. These guys are revolters. Hmm. Well, whatever. That's basically it for the Nicophage play playthrough of the game. And I think this is actually a good stopping point for Endless Legends to sort of show off what I've basically shown off. So I went through with the Vaulters the first time because they're sort of so it's like a passive faction. And then like the Nicker phase right after they're like more of like an aggressive faction. I think I've done a good job showing them off. For now, take care.